to the point. As I open this book and then burn the sum of the street for my plan is to figure out the world and escape all my demons. I'm dying inside. I wonder if sighing inside the heavens. A kind of a rolling chain of fat blood in the Mac 11. It's all I see in my life and they tell me to make it right, but I'm right. Down. So you jumped off of a roof? What? You jumped off of a roof. <laughs> no, I didn't... I didn't jump off of a roof. I didn't... Did you... Did someone tell you that? Because I... I don't know why it gets... But you were drinking that night. Well, yes. That night I was... Drinking. I, uh, I had been drinking for a while. I was at a party, and so at some point I decided to go up on the roof. And I was completely alone, too, right? And and I, I had every intention of coming off the roof safely, right? So it, it wasn't anything like that, either. Okay? So, uh, I, you know, I was on the roof. I wasn't doing anything crazy, either. I was just hanging out. Just hanging out. That's it. And eventually, I wanted to come down. So I kind of started to crawl my way over. Well, the um, I was going down the way it came up, which was there was a fire escape, right? So I was making my way over there, and um, I slipped. And that's when I fell, you know. And I was incredibly intoxicated that night, so that's probably what did it. But you know, the roof was three stories up. Really? Yeah, but it was a slip. It wasn't a jump, it wasn't a stunt, it wasn't some heroic movement or some show off -y, like, hey, look at me, type of thing. It was just, it was an accident. It was a terrible, embarrassing accident. And that's it. So, yeah, the roof was three stories up, and when I fell, I landed on my right foot and just completely shattered my ankle. And uh, actually, before I went into surgery, they said that the, the bones from my ankle were floating around in my heel. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was awful. So then I have this crazy five, six hour surgery. I'm in a hospital for a week, then a cast for months, crutches, physical therapy, the, the whole thing. But it got better. Yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, it wasn't immediate and it was tough to get back to normal, you know, with the crutches and then uh, I'm out of the cast and they give me one of those, uh, the boots, like the giant boots. I'm in one of those and I basically have to learn to walk again. You know, it was, it was a lot. But uh, once I got through all that, I, I was fine. I was basically fine. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, I can run, walk, jump, whatever. Every once in a while, it will get a little sore, but I, don't know, I, think, I think that's just the way it's going to be.
drinking now. What do you mean? Are you drinking? I mean, yeah, I, I do. I'm still drinking, not like I was or have before. Not like I was when the night I fell, but yeah, I, I do. Have you thought about why that happened? I mean, I know why it happened. It happened because I was I was drinking and I fucked up and I fell. That's why. But have you ever thought about why you drink? No. <laughs> why I drink? No, I, I haven't really thought about or written a statement or anything. I don't know. We just, it was just something we did. It was fun. It was always fun. Honestly, even the night I fell, before I fell, I was having a great time. Even after. I didn't realize my ankle was broken at first, and I, I was still having fun. Who knows? Maybe at first I was just having fun, and then I realized what it could do, and I used it to, to curb anxieties or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I drank for the same reasons everybody else does. Right? I'm nothing special. So do you think you have a problem? A problem? <laughs> like what? Like an actual, like a drinking problem? Well, you said before that this wasn't the first time that something crazy happened because of how you were drinking. Right? That's what you told me. Well, yeah, but the roof and that other thing, they, they, they were isolated incidents. Right? I mean, 98 out of 100 times, everything was okay. We would just, you know, have fun, I'd pass out, and then the next day I'd wake up and kind of feel shitty, right? It was just, it was those few times that things got completely out of control, so... So? So, I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I made mistakes. Isn't that what you do? You make mistakes, and then you grow up. But a problem? A problem. Like, <laughs> ask me if I have a problem. I, I really don't know. It remains to be seen. How about that? I think obviously I made some bad choices, and decisions, whatever, and I learned. I learned from them. Or I'm trying to learn from them. Or I am currently learning from them. I, I, I don't know. Couldn't it be that I was just an idiot kid who didn't know better and made some poor decisions? Right? Couldn't it just be that? I was a dumb kid and some dumb stuff happened because I made some bad choices or... I don't know, uh... I did some bad things because dumb shit happened. No, uh... Here. Some bad things happened because I did some dumb shit. Does that work? So maybe it's not an issue or a, or a problem or whatever. Definitely not now, not something that severe. I was an idiot kid and some bad things happened because I did some dumb shit. And now I'm trying to change. How's that? Okay, good. But back to the ankle quick. Is it completely back to normal now? Like 100%? Um, yeah. You know, like I said, I don't have any major issues with it, really. Uh, there's a, a scar on both sides of my foot, but even that's fading, so I'm good. And you don't get any pain? You know, every once in a while, if I overuse it, I guess there'll be a little pain, but other than that, not really. And, you know, they said eventually I'll have arthritis, but I think, I don't know, that's not going to be for decades. I hope. I think. I hope. I don't know. So do you ever use anything if something hurts? What? I'm 
not drinking to ease the pain, if that's what you're getting at. No, of course not. I'm asking how you manage the pain, if it ever starts. Oh. I mean... Yeah, no, I... I'll take something, you know, just normal whatever, though. Nothing crazy. Of course, they, they had me on the intense stuff when I was in the hospital, but I, I stopped taking that soon after I left. Actually, it was my mom. She was there that day. She didn't even want me to go home with that stuff. You know, but I, I, I was only a few days out from surgery and still a complete mess. And I, I, I needed them. I needed them. I need, I need them for a while, but I, I managed it well and I, I got off of them pretty easy. It's, you know, I, I didn't want to mess around with that stuff. Oh, Lord.